Hello YouTube and happy holidays. Today I want to talk about an app I made for creating mosaic crochet charts. With the app I made something, I made a pattern like this. It was really fun. And you could make your own patterns too with this app. Of course other apps like this exist. So I'm going to tell, start by telling you the pros and cons of the app so you can decide if you want to use this one or go with other ones. And then I will talk about how to get use and run the app. And then finally, I'll talk about the rules for making a mosaic crochet chart. So feel free to skip to that part of the video if that's all the information you want. So the pros of the app. The biggest pro in my opinion is that the app is actually free, which means there's no ads because that can be annoying when you're just trying to be creative. There's no subscriptions. Once you have the app on your laptop or computer, you don't even need the internet to use the app. The next biggest pro, in my opinion, is that there is absolutely no learning curve to this app. This app is extremely simple and easy to use because its only function is to make mosaic crochet charts and nothing else. The next pro, which some, some other similar apps for making charts might not have this is you can make the grid as big or small as you want and you can make the size of the blocks in the grid also as big or small as you want so you could make gigantic grids if you need to like the this pattern um had to be a pretty large grid the next pro is that while the app is missing a certain function that would be useful, that function will definitely be added in the future. So now we can get to the cons, which the main missing function of the app is once you've created your chart, you can't save the work and then come back to it later. So instead you just have to screenshot whatever work you've done and then you'd have to, if it wasn't done, you'd have to do all that work again in the app to continue working on it. So that's the biggest pro. I would like to fix that in the future though decided that you want this app, we can talk about getting and running the app, which this is really the most daunting part. Um, so if you just want to learn how to make a mosaic chart, skip to that part of the video and you can use a different app. Um, to get this app, um, this app is made with just Python and it's just this code right here. So all you would have to do is either click download or copy and paste this code. Um, but first you would have to get get Python, which that would be daunting, but there's tons of YouTube videos that could walk you through the process. So if you think it's worth it, please, please get and run this app. So running the app, we're going to go to here and running the app is super simple. First, I need to um, X out of this. So there's two ways you can run the app. Um, you can run it just by itself, just Python chart app.py, and then you'll get to the default size of the, uh, the width default width. Oops, I'm not on the screen. Uh, default width and height and block size. But it's, I, I basically made the default take up my whole computer screen because I like space. But we can also run the app by changing the, the first number will be the width, the next number will be the height, and then the next number will be the block size. All right, so you can see the blocks got smaller here. So just remember width, height, block size, and that's all in the readme here with an example. Using the app is also very, very simple. All this app does is you left click and that makes the blocks blue. You can left click them again to turn them back to white. And then right clicking will put X's on any of the blocks and right clicking again will take the X's away. And that's the app. Literally, like I said, no learning curve. Okay, now I'm going to go through the rules to make a mosaic or say crochet chart. I have a YouTube video where I tried doing this on graph paper, but you know, it's poor quality. So this is to try to make up for that. We're going to start with 
the rule one rows alternate color so that every odd row is the same color and every even row is the same color. So that just means we're gonna, um, it means this. It's good to mark on the side what color your row is just to avoid um, confusion. Every column of a color must begin on its own row. From this information, we could go ahead and make um, our first row since it uh, the, the, your first row is just going to all be one color. Since every column of a color must begin on its own row, there's no way you could have white on this row. Next rule would be all columns of a color must have an odd number of cells. So column would be like this, and you can see this is three columns um, large. Um, and I could also make m m these two would be like um, an, odd, an odd column of the size one. But if I went up more, then here's another column that would be three. And then th you have to think of the white too, where this is just a small one column, big white one. We could make a, a larger white column by going like this. And you can see this is one, two, three, four, five. So it's odd. So that fits, fits the rule. This rule will help you determine if you're following the third rule, which is, so the X's like this, mark double crochets and you need to place x's starting on the third block of every column and then every other block on that column so here's this white column the third block of this white column would be this one and then every other so you would continue like that here's another one i guess we should make this part have some ending somewhere up here so let's see okay so yeah here here's the full design just in here and we can finish adding our x's which really helps you make sure you are following the rule that all columns must have an odd number you can also notice that the x's will end up on um, like all the blue x's are on a blue row and all the white X's are on a white row. So that's something else you can check to make sure it's all lined up as it should be. But yes, here is this little mosaic design that we made um, following these four rules. All right, thanks for watching my video. If you happen to get and use my app, let me know down in the comments how you like it. Bye.